There's a lot of work going into all of my YouTube videos. So today I will take you on a small tour of all of the gear that I use to film my videos. Most people usually are interested in the camera, but the most important piece of gear is audio. You see, you can shoot the perfect picture, but if the audio is, yeah, let's say crap, the viewer will notice it right away and perceive the whole video as bad. However, if you shoot something on a phone and the audio is perfect, the viewer will forget the subpar image quality. So when I'm at my desk, I use this Rode Procaster mic for all of my A-roll or voiceover recordings. This is a podcast mic, so it has a very warm and full sound. I can highly recommend this mic, especially at its very fair price point. If I'm not at my desk, I use the Rode Wireless Go Lav mic. In short range, the connection is very reliable and its sound quality combined with its small size is really hard to beat. But if you need more range, then I'd probably go with the Rode Link Lav mics. The second most important part of making good videos is light. A good camera without proper lighting will not produce good images. So for a long time, I used a softbox with a cheap studio light. But honestly, I was craving something new and less obstructive in my office space. So I bought this Godox TL60 tube light. In combination with this small LED light, I now light all my scenes. Yes, the bigger the light source, the softer the light quality. And this tube light is comparatively small to a softbox, but I really wanted to reduce my gear and experiment more with this different lighting. It is definitely much more difficult to light with the tube light. Once you master this light, it is very practical. But if you are new to lighting, I would recommend to start with a softbox. That being said, these small LED lights are amazing and everyone should at least have one. Combined with an umbrella, this is a very useful key light. This one is the Nightcore SL10. Very reliable, but you can only adjust brightness and Kelvin temperature. And this one is the Pixel G1S that also has RGB lighting if you want to add some colors in your frame. Now let's talk about the camera, lens and filters. I shoot everything with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. This is a cinema camera with a micro four thirds sensor. The sensor is much smaller than what many people use on their channels. Most people use either an APS-C or full frame sensor camera. However, the BMPCC 4K gives me 10-bit ProRes or 12-bit RAW files with, in my humble opinion, incredible color science and image quality. And I personally prefer image quality and color over sensor size. Furthermore, the ProRes files allow me to edit right away instead of having to create proxy files of H.265 recordings. That was very technical, so if you have questions about that, let me know in the comment section below. So I love this camera and it is a lot of fun to shoot with, but it is fairly big and bulky. Battery life is terrible. There is no continuous autofocus or internal image stabilization. But compared to my old Sony A6300, which had all of those benefits, seeing what comes out of this camera makes up for all of the downsides. In the end, I would always recommend use the camera that inspires you to shoot. Don't get hung up on specs or features. In the end, the viewer and you will only see the footage and won't know what you have shot it with. On the BMPCC 4K, I have the Lumix 12-35mm f2.8 OIS lens. This is a great lens, I highly recommend it. Only downside is the focus by wire that isn't linear. Depending on the speed how you turn the ring, it focuses faster or slower, which is really annoying because it means that it is always a gamble of how well you will manual focus. And on the lens, I have a set of two filters. One is the infrared cut filter because the BMPCC 4K suffers from IR pollution in daylight. And the next filter is the KNF Concept Black Diffusion Filter, also known as ProMist Filter. This black diffusion filter will take off some of the digital di di digital sharpness <laughs> and add halation to light sources. And more importantly for us back reviewers, it reduces the moray effect on detailed structures like Kodora fabric. 
In the past, I used the one fourth strength, which is way too strong and muddies the image way too much. So now I use the one eighth strength, which is perfect, and I can highly recommend it. I wanted to try this magnetic version of the K and F, which in concept is a great idea to quickly detach and attach a filter. However, in practice, I found this to be annoying because it is difficult to differentiate between the magnetic filter and the magnetic lens cap. So I tended to remove both instead of only the lens cap. Moreover, I always feared that I accidentally knock off the filter. So I used some gaffer's tape to tape the magnetic filter to the threaded adapter ring. Plus you can thread on other filters on top of this magnetic filter. So I can highly recommend the KNF Concept 1.8 black diffusion filter, but I would recommend just to get the regular threaded one. Also get the size that fits your biggest lens. In my case it's the 77mm version. And then just adapt it to all of your smaller lenses with a step up ring. Last but not least, I recently bought this teleprompter from Desview. You attach this in front of your lens and then you attach your phone to the teleprompter. Now you can read off the script of the mirror glass in front of your lens. The script is controlled via a provided Bluetooth remote and the app. You need a little bit of practice to read the script naturally off the screen. It helps if you write like you speak. And since I use the teleprompter, my workflow is much more streamlined. So this is my equipment that I use to record all of my YouTube videos, but it's also the equipment that I use for video calls. So if you have any specific questions, comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Also check out my Instagram at you know the bow and my second channel in which I make movie reviews, series reviews, and basically everything that I like but doesn't fit this channel so check out that channel as well and yeah stay safe and healthy everyone and I see you in the next videos thank you very much